at the test centre. Brain surgeon Rahul Jandiol is preparing to assess the fourth case, a man with a brain so fast he's known as the human calculator. Originally from Cuba, Yusnie Vieira was a child maths prodigy. He now holds several world records for mentally calculating what day of the week random dates fall on. So tell me about this calculation and this ability you have. Does it help you in regular life? How do you use it? I love numbers, so numbers are everywhere. Numbers are, are my passion. It's like knowing a new language, the language of numbers. So I use the language of numbers everywhere I go. That makes me more like efficient to take decisions, you know? So when you go to a restaurant, it's time to pay the bill and it's going to be a service charge. You do the math for everybody. Exactly. <laughs> so we're very amazed with what you can do. We want to see it in action. Are you ready for it? Yes, definitely. All right, let's put you to a test. Mm -hmm. Greg's got a stopwatch. We're going to show you 20 dates in this century. As fast as you can, tell us which day of the week they land on. OK. The requirements for this experiment are 20 dates from the current century that are on cards held by 10 volunteers. How long would it take you to calculate that this date is a Sunday? Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's go for it. OK. So, how long will it take Yusnier to calculate all 20 dates? Friday, Wednesday, Sunday, Friday, Thursday, 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 Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. One mistake. Monday, Can Sunday, he recover? Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday. Saturday, Thursday, Monday, and Friday. And hold it there. That's amazing. <laughs> you got two wrong, but that's, that's <laughs> an amazing thing to see. Now, how fast was that? 29 seconds for 20 <laughs> dates. So, uh, so what we're thinking is, if all men could do this, there'd be a lot less grief because we'd never miss our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> that's true enough. My initial reaction when I saw Eusner was total amazement. It's a very complicated task, and to see him perform it that quickly was very impressive. As these dates were randomly generated, Yusnier could not have learned the answers. He must have calculated each one. But just how complicated is that? All right, so we just saw something very amazing. Simply, there's too many numbers to memorize. Yeah. So tell us about how you do it. Perfect. Let me show you the formula. You have to get the year. Yusnier assigns code numbers to the year and month and then applies a multi-stage formula known as an algorithm. When you get the whole addition, you need to divide that whole addition by seven. And you only care about the remainder. If your remainder is one, what does that mean? If it is one, it's Monday. If it is two, it's Tuesday, and so on. His algorithm was something I think lots of mathematicians could say that makes sense. What's impressive to me is the application of that algorithm repeatedly. So what we want to do now is sort of look inside your brain, try to figure out what part of your brain is responsible for the special feat. OK, you that sounds that? good. Yeah. Rahul sends Yusnier for an fMRI brain scan. During the experiment, Yusnier performs several complex calculations. Now we shall run the calendar task. Are you OK with that? Yes. Rahul analyzes Yusnier's results with neuroimaging expert Dr. Stuart Derbyshire. So we looked at your brain, why you did your calendar calculations, and we're looking for blood flow. Whichever part of the brain you're using, blood will go there, and we can detect it with some of the colors. Shall we talk about what we found? Yeah, let's have a look. All right. So what I see here is what we expect, that the biparietal or the left parietal, which is right above your ears, this region is activated, OK? The, the math center, there's a calculation area that's there. Activity in this area of the brain is normal, but there's more to Yusnier's results. What do you think about this region here? I didn't expect prefrontal cortex on the left. Yeah, he's showing left prefrontal cortex activity, which is a, an area of the brain involved in organization. Um, so he's kind of feeling his way through the math, maybe. So you're doing this too fast to be only using raw calculation. Sometimes I use rough calculation, sometimes I use my instinct. instinct. So, in contrast to the norm, Yusnier also draws on the frontal lobe's higher functions, such as judgment and intuition. You have some math sense that you're pulling in. It's an estimation of numbers plus a raw calculation. So I, I think that's very fascinating. It's a great experience because I was able to see my brain, and not only that, I was able to see what region of my brain were activated at the time I was doing calculations. So I think it's pretty amazing too. 
With his multiple world records, Usnier has one of the fastest brains on the planet. He's one in seven billion. But will it be enough to earn him a place in the showdown?